Hello, welcome to Azad GTV South Sudan Global. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe as we will continue to bring you informative videos. Of late, there has been an explosion of tension between pastoralists and farmers in areas like Mangala and Kajukeji. However, the problems associated with cattle movement are not endemic to those areas only, but also across South Sudan. In our today analysis, we have analyzed four best ways to permanently solve cattle movements conflicts in South Sudan. Number one, government should set up water catchment areas in each county. The government of South Sudan through respective ministries of livestock, agriculture, water and irrigation should identify and set up water catchment areas in each county. The government should dig water harvesting reservoirs such as ponds, boreholes etc which will minimize the need for cattle to move elsewhere in search of water this can reduce the chances of conflict between pastoralists and farmers number two mapping out of cattle movement routes authorities should map out cattle movement routes and have this communicated to farmers so that they are not caught unaware before the cattle move pastoralists must reach out to authorities in areas they are moving to the authorities in areas where cattle are moving must communicate it to farmers who will give their opinions and suggestions. Doing so will reduce conflict between pastoralists and farmers. Number three, the registration of cattle owners in the national database. The registration of cattle owners in the national database is long overdue. The good thing about registration of cattle owners in the national database is that it helps in tracing. If someone's cattle feast on a farmer's crops, he needs to be traced and held accountable. This will discourage cattle owners from moving into towns or farmlands when there is no major issue compelling them to do so. Number four, setting up national commission for dispute resolutions. Finally, the government of South Sudan must set up a national commission made up of farmers and pastoralists. The National Commission will help in dispute and conflict resolutions whenever they arise between farmers and pastoralists. For an isolated case, we understand that the Bill of Rights in the South Sudan Constitution gives all and sundry the right to own land through land purchase anywhere around the country. We have people across the country who are both farmers and cattle keepers. For instance, some military officers are traditionally known for keeping cattle in areas of service in Ye, Nemuli, ETC, seeing the liberation struggle. These types of people may not need to be confused with those cattle keepers migrating from elsewhere, and that's why they need to be identified through registration or through their permanent residence and not their state of origin per se. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to South Sudan Global.